Hey guys, so today I'm just going to film a quick little update. Um, I did do a very mini update on my main channel the other day, um, on Sunday, just to give you guys a heads up about what's been going on, but I figured uh, it was about time to do another sit down with Sid um, for a bit of a June update. Uh, I know the month's not quite over yet, but you know, eh, I want to share it now. So first things first, um, earlier this month, uh, June 7th? I think 7th, 6th or 7th, I don't even remember. Um, I flew down to Florida to visit my mummy and uh, I was there for 10 days. Um, I did have every, every single intention of blogging and filming while I was down there. I packed uh, for a couple of videos, a couple of fashion videos I wanted to do really badly, um, but they don't have Wi-Fi. Uh, well they do, but there was an issue with it and we, for the life of us, the four of us could not get it resolved, so there was me, my mom, her husband, and um, somebody else lives with them. Uh, if you guys follow my social media, you might see photos of that, I don't know. Uh, so the four of us were trying desperately to get this Wi-Fi password to work, and it wasn't happening. So, the internet was really kind of slow and tedious, and it actually took me a little longer to clue in that I could use their hardwire for the internet. So, I did eventually pop on with my computer, but... Um, yeah, I didn't do very much, and the internet was kind of slow, so I, was, I wasn't going to have it. But what's funny is that the first couple of days without Wi-Fi, I thought I was going to lose my mind. And that sounds so sad and so pathetic, and I, I totally, I even said that out loud. I was like, okay, this is, I feel kind of desperate, the fact that I like need Wi-Fi, um, because I take it for granted. Like, I can walk around with my laptop, my phone, my iPad, whatever it is. I can sit around any part of my house and just bang away blog posts or just be engaged and whatever. So when I go away, I put my phone, my phone on airport mode, because, or airplane mode, so I don't get like ridiculous charges, so I can only use a Wi-Fi on my phone. And without that happening, I was, I was starting to lose it a little bit, because um, other than the first couple of days being like the weekend, so my mom and her hubby were around um, while Tony was working, um, I had something to do, <laughs> but when everyone was at work on Monday, I was just twiddling my thumbs. I sat by the pool, but I was like, I feel like I need to connect with people. So that was that was totally pathetic of me. And I got over that really quick. Uh, like two days later, I was like, yeah, the whole internet thing, like, I don't need that nonsense. So, so um, I had to actually persuade myself to get on the computer, which I never thought, I never thought I'd say in a long time. But it was actually really, really relaxing being away from everything and not having to worry, even though in my mind I was like, damn, I'm supposed to upload today, dang, I should do this as a blog post. And I did take tons of, well, not tons of photos, but I did take some out for the day posts, so I will have those up sometime over the next week or so. I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a Florida outfit post all in one or if I'm going to kind of space them out. I'm going to see what kind of photos I've got, because some of them are on my phone, I didn't bring my camera, some of them, are, the lighting's a little bit off, but like, whatevs we're gonna make do. Um, yeah, then what else? Um, so I basically just sat on my butt and it was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic and I haven't really been able to quite relax like that in a while. Like now that I'm officially done school, it kind of hit me. I wasn't really sleeping well before I went down to Florida and the first couple of days were really really rocky. Like I just could not sleep. Uh, the third day when my head hit the pillow, I was out. I was absolutely out and it was fantastic and I slept great the rest of my trip. And I'm sleeping great now that I'm home again, so that's great. Uh, but side note, if you aren't sleeping very well, an hour before you go to bed, have a cup of cherries. Because uh, they're really high in melatonin, and yeah, I learned that the other day. So next time I can't sleep, I'll be eating cherries. Um, yeah, and then when I came home, the first day back, um, I actually had uh, a family party, because I had some family from England over, and I got to meet, um, I think... She ends up being my great aunt, because um, it's my dad's aunt, so I got to meet her for the very first time. Uh, I got to re-meet some of my cousins, and uh, that was really nice. Uh, so we had a bit of a barbecue and just chilled out. And what happened next? The next day I had off and I kind of just slept and was lazy, and then the Thursday I had my graduation. So you guys probably saw a ton of that stuff on my Instagram. I had a couple of uh, cl huge collages of grad photos. Because, hey, I'm allowed to be excited. I finished another degree. 
and it means I'm officially done school, not forever, because I do plan on doing my masters, but down the road. I don't want to do it right now. Um, I'm tired, I'm sick of school, and I'm about to go teach it, so I, um, I'm not rushing for that, but I definitely have plans to do my masters down the road. Uh, my mom teased me and said as long as I'm done before I'm 30, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's gonna happen, even if I end up doing it part-time. But yes, that was a really big hoopla. Only half my class ended up coming because some people were sick, like my best friend Joe was sick, um, and other people just chose to go to the beach, or they were away, or they just didn't care. Um, but it was nice because we actually got to sit with each other. Uh, they went by, like, sites, which was quite nice because we thought we were going to be placed amongst really random people. Um, so that was a really nice ceremony. I got my um, degree framed with, like, an official York frame, and it's, it's quite pretty. That was also up on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, so after that, everything kind of calmed down, except for World Cup. <laughs> um, I have been, unfortunately, glued to my television to see what's going on. My team, I don't even know if I want to mention their name or their country because they sucked weenies this year, but England is going home. Uh, but this whole World Cup has got me going like, what? Because honestly, like nothing going according to plan. According to plan, Spain Spain actually got kicked out before England did, and that was mind blowing. Um, people who are supposed to win aren't going to win. Uh, the underdogs are coming up and like taking it all. So I'm quite impressed. Like I don't know what is going on. I don't know who's winning. I don't know who's going to take it in the end. I have a lot of people who are saying it's going to be. <sighs> it's going to be a South American Cup. I don't know about that. Um, I just watched the Netherlands play against Chile, and that was a really good game, even though it took a while to get the score going. Um, and now I hear like Spain beats Australia 3-0, something like that. Even though they're done, that doesn't mean anything. Um, but yeah, so there's tons of stuff going on with that. My mind's exploding, trying to figure out who's going to move on, and whatever. Um, and then the last few days, I just started working out again, which was fantastic. I actually worked out a bit in Florida because they have a gym set up in their garage. So I kind of got into it. But I'm actually planning on going back, which was not originally part of my plan um, for the summer. But we're making it work. So now I'm going like full Monty with my workouts. And uh, yeah, because I wanted to really go hard for my workouts before I went to this trip, but because we kept changing the dates and everything kept like going all over the place, I kind of was like, eh, I'll go as is. Not saying my figure is bad, but you know, there's always room for improvement. So I'm hoping that uh, in the next few weeks that I have, depending on what happens with work, I can be a little more fit. But yeah, so I'm waiting right now to figure out how I'm gonna go back to the summer camp I taught it last year. Um, I just called the camp a few minutes ago, and they don't know yet because they're just finishing and finalizing um, their new staff that they have to do orientations for. So because I'm returning staff, I get like shunted off to the end. So fingers crossed. Um, I still have to do a lot of work for going over to the UK. I have to do my visa, but I can't do my visa because I'm waiting for a grant, and the grant's going to help me pay for my visa, so I'm kind of stuck. And yeah, and there's another tutoring camp that's up open just down by my house, but they don't have a lot of people in yet. They're doing mostly like birthday party stuff with like pottery painting and like playing with animals and all the other. F it's fun stuff. I did want to teach, but I was like, hey, I'll take whatever I can get. So this week will kind of solidify what I'm doing. Um, if I'm not doing anything officially, then I'm going to be going to Florida sooner and for longer. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I think that's basically, like, all of my updates. Oh, and of course, the Fandango of my laptop dying on me. Um, I came back from Florida on Monday. Tuesday, I wasn't on my computer at all because I went um, to Newmarket to visit family. Wednesday, I had a song, I had a song stuck in my head, um, which is My Eyes by Blake Shelton, because now I am officially a country music convert, which I honest to God never thought I'd ever say. I've never been big on country. Obviously, I love me some Shania and some Taylor Swift, but um, as a whole, like the whole twangy, I never really did it for me. Oh my god, being in Florida totally converted me. Like, it's nuts. So I had Blake Shelton in my eyes stuck in my head. So I went to go download it. What happened? My computer 
rebooted. Like it, it had a brain fart. And when I turned back on, it didn't. I got this, what I call a little sign of death. And it was a little file folder with a question mark on it. So of course, I went into a full-blown bloody panic because, come on now, I don't, th this thing's expensive. The cost of my MacBook Pro is just a little bit shy of what I need to move to England. So it was like, England, new laptop. So thankfully, the geniuses at the Apple store fixed my computer, fixed my baby on Saturday. It was just a cable for my hard drive. Uh, apparently, so okay, if you're looking at a MacBook, the short sides don't carry it like that. Because there's a little cable, they put too much pressure on it, it goes and dies. Um, so thank God nothing was lost. I'm good with putting everything on my external hard drive, but the things in the last month and a half that I haven't put on yet, so I was, I was panicking a bit. But yeah, so awesome sauce, everything's back, everything's back to normal, which means more videos and more vlogging. Um, and I have lots to catch up on, like I have outfit posts, um, there's a couple of fashion videos that I want to film and now I've got a couple more items for them. I have a giant ass haul, giant haul, like it's ridiculous, it hurts, like, it hurts how much there's there, um, from Florida. So I might be a little sporadic with my uploads on my main channel, um, just to get things up and back into the flow of things. I still have another makeup challenge to upload of uh, my friend Joanna doing my makeup blindfolded. Uh, so that's gonna find its way up there as well. Uh, yeah, I've said uh a lot. My brain's like all over the place. But, yeah. I just uploaded my uh, Julep Maven box for June. So definitely check that out. I'll have some swatches up as well by the time this video goes up. Uh, yeah. So, fun times. Uh, if you have anything for this channel, any tags you'd like to do, or challenges that might not fit onto a beauty or fashion channel, please let me know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to all my social media. I'm always on there, especially Instagram and Twitter. Um, and yeah, check it out. Go and hit subscribe. Um, but I'll talk to you guys later. See ya!